So now we're going to do workshop M, where we build the dragster, and we're going to do experiment 12, starting the dragster. So starting with image A, you're going to need two long rods, and you're going to connect them using two anchor pins. You're going to have one rod like this, with this piece sticking out, and with the hole that's closer to the end facing up, and you're going to stick one anchor pin in one hole and another anchor pin in the other hole, the two holes that are closest to the end. Then you're going to take this side of another long rod and with the side up with the hole that's farther from the end, you're going to stick it on. So these holes are actually lined up. Then you're going to take three medium axles and you're going to stick a pulley wheel onto each of them. So here's one pulley wheel, here is another pulley wheel, and here is another pulley wheel. Then you're going to take a long rod and with the side up with the hole that's closer to this end right here, you're going to stick two anchor pins, again, right on the end, and then you're going to take another long rod and basically do the same thing you did right here. And stick it on like that so that the holes line up. And there are a few other pieces that you're going to need. You're going to need this elastic cord. You're going to need a joint pin. You're going to need a connection bridge. And you're going to need an axle lock and a washer. So now we're going to move on to image B, and in image B you're going to connect all of these things together. So we're going to start with the medium axles, and you can see in image A that this axle has two washers, this axle has no washers, and this axle has one washer. So we're going to stick these two washers on this axle, and then with the stop on the right side, put it in the third hole from the end. Then. We're going to take the next axle and we're going to stick it in the last hole on this lower rod. So I'm going to stick this in here. And then with this final axle, it actually has an axle lock right here. And then it has a washer. And it's going to go in the second hole from the end on this long rod. Then. You're going to take the elastic cord and put it through a joint pin and then just kind of stick it down in that little insert right there. And then you're going to take the connector bridge and just attach it to this one hole right here. So now we can move on to image C. And in image C we're actually going to connect all of this stuff together. So you're going to fit this together and you're going to put these axles into their corresponding opposite holes on these rods. It might help to, let, to do it like this and then just place it on top in the third hole, in the first hole, and then in the second hole. And then you can attach this connector bridge so it looks like this. Then you're going to take a medium spool and you're going to wrap a medium tire ring around it and you're going to take a long axle and with the stop on the right side you're going to stick this medium spool on it and then you're going to add a washer to it. And then you're going to add an axle lock and a washer. Then you're going to need another washer, an axle lock, another medium spool, and another medium tire ring. And now you're going to put this cord around the pulleys. So you're going to want to stick this anchor pin into the hole in the connector bridge. And if these medium rods are not staying put, you can always use axle locks to keep them in place. The elastic cord is going to go around the second pulley then back around the first pulley
and then to the third pulley. And in order to get it on the third pulley wheel, you're actually going to have to take it off of the medium axle and then take the cord, line it up with the axle with a little bit sticking out, and then put the cord through the pulley as you put the pulley onto the axle. And then the cord will be stuck in there. And then you can add the washer back on and the other washer back on and then stick it back right where it was. So it should look like this with the elastic cord starting at this joint pin going around this middle pulley coming back around the first pulley and then going to the last pulley and you already pulled it through so it's nice and taut there.